Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application of logarithms where we will be solving an exponential equation. So we have taken up equations from investment. Dollar hundred is invested at an annual rate of 6%. How many years would it take for the amount to double if the interest is compounding continuously, right? So whenever the interest is compounded continuously, then the amount is given by principal amount into e to the power of R T right so that is the formula for the continuous compounding interest amount right so that is how it grows now in this case we know what principal amount is we know P is equals to 100 we know R is the rate of interest which is 6 percent so it is 0 0.06 and since it is uh, being okay compounded continuously and the final amount A we need to find is double, so double means 200, right? Right, so we can substitute these values and then find. Okay, so we have 200 equals to, 200 equals to 100 times e to the power of r, which is 0 0.06t. Now, we can divide by 100, so we get 200 divided by 100, and as expected, it is 2, e to the power of 0 0.06t. So we have 2 equals to e to the power of 0 0.06 t. I wrote one extra zero here. Okay. Now, when you have such an equation, how are you going to solve it? Well, we can take log to the base e, right? So that is ln. So we'll do ln 2 equals to ln e to the power of 0 0.06 t, right? So we will now apply the properties of logarithms to solve this. So we could write this as ln2 is equals to 0 0.06 t times ln e. And what is ln e? ln e is 1, correct? Therefore, we use log to the base e whenever exponential equations are involved. So this is just 1. So we get ln2 as equals to 0 0.06 t and t should be equals to ln2 divided by 0 0.06 and at this stage you can use the calculator and calculate the answer. So we have ln2 divided by 0 0.06. So we have 11.552 as t. So how many years? So approximately 11.55 years. So the answer is approximately 11.55 years to double the amount at 6% interest. Well, the main idea here is to understand how to use logarithms to solve your equations when you have exponential equations. And I hope that point is very clear. Thank you and all the best.